hi guys and welcome to my channel if you are new here you are so welcome if you are actually new here it is so good because you are seeing me on a serious note this is actually my first ever study with me vlog if it goes well then we are going to be doing more of it but in this video i am going to be learning my anatomy and physiology in in our field anatomy and physiology is like one of our major courses so for me it is a course that i pay utmost attention to because it is very broad and i mean very wide the more you read the more you discover that you are not going anywhere so i like to read anatomy and physiology three times every week so today i am going to be reading I'm going to be studying the urinary system. It is something that I've, I, I have already studied it twice already. So this is actually going to be the third time. My third time of studying this particular subject, will I say. So this is how it's actually going to work. I'm going to study the urinary system for about one to two hours. After that, I'm going to come back to share with you guys what I've learned. That way, you guys are also going to benefit from this whole process. So, at the end of this lesson, I should be able to know the physiological flow of urine. The physiological flow of urine. And then I should be able to understand the processes urine passes through before maturation. And then I should also know the channels in which urine passes through before we actually excrete them. So grab your pencil or your biro and jot them down now because it is about to be interesting for both me and you. So let me recap. At the end of this lesson, both I and you should be able to know how urine is formed and where urine is formed. And then that's one. Two, we should be able to know the processes. Like, is there any process urine passes through before it is actually excreted? Two. And then the last one, what are the channels? What are the routes? What are the ways urine passes through before they are excreted? So that is what we are going to be learning today. So I have my jotter, I have my test book, which is Anatomy and Physiology in Health and Illness, 11th edition by Russ and Wilson. And then I have my cell phone, I have my notebook that I, this is my anatomy notebook actually. So for the first one hour, 30 minutes, I'm going to study alone. I'm, of course, I'm going to fast forward it. And then later on, we'll come back and discuss about what we learned. Let's go. So when I'm studying, I like to listen to very cool music. I like to put them, I mean, on the lowest pitch so that I can actually, all the background noises, I can actually ignore them. It lies on the posterior medulla wall on each side of the vertebra, behind the posterior below the diaphragm. It is 11 cm long, 11 cm long, 6 cm wide, and 2 cm thick. The right kidney is usually slightly lower than the left. The right kidney is slightly lower. The right kidney is slightly lower than the left. The right kidney is slightly lower than the left only because of the difference the space that we have. The kidney had a big shape, so it's a bit of a The embedded and early vision by the five patients of fibrous constitutions from the past vision vision.
the seven level to pursue the breath from. Let's go pitch structure. And then it's gonna sit in and then keep moving. You may try. What does it say with the kidney? We have the posterior adrenal gland, lobe of the liver, the teratoderm. So, I'm not going to say they have the kidney. Firstly, on the right, right? Right, we have the DHL. Superiorly, we have the Adamagran. And similarly, we have the DHL. Posteriorly, we have the Posteriorly, we have the Muscles <laughs> So guys, I'm actually back to the hostel. Actually, ignore everywhere. I know everywhere is very scattered, but ignore it. The class became so noisy. Some guys were actually doing something outside in our school building. So the noise was actually too much. I couldn't continue. Coming to my own room, my roommates were busy doing their own kind of noise there. So I had to come to my friend's room to complete this video because I really wanted to finish the video today. So I am basically done. So today I learned about the kidney. I mean, I learned about the urinary system. Where is my daughter? So I'm going to just be briefing you guys what I read. I actually read for two hours. And I haven't still covered everything I need to cover for that urinary system. So, it's a very, very broad topic. So, first thing you should know is um, the urinary system has four components. Two kidneys, one at the right and the other one at the left. Two ureters, one at the right, the other one at the left, one urinary bladder, and one urethra. So, the first question, you know, when we're starting this video, we actually had four questions. Um, the formation of urine. So, the first question, to answer the first question about how urine is formed. So, urine is actually formed in the kidney. So the kidney is the place where urine is formed. And what is the kidney? The kidney is a bean-shaped organ. The kidney is 11 cm long, 6 cm wide, and 3 cm thick. So the kidney is actually located on the posterior walls of the abdominal cavity, on the 12th lumbar area, on the, three, on the third um, lumbar vertebrae. <laughs> See, the way I'm saying this is, uh, you know, I, 
I, I used to tell myself that if there are things that you cannot actually learn, like that, there are some things that you can actually learn, and there are some things you need to just cram. So the position of the kidney is something I cram because it's too long. But legitly, the kidney is located um, in the posterior abdominal wall, just like I said. Um, one on each side of the vertebral column behind the peritoneum and below the diaphragm is actually a very long description but you just have to pack all of them and put it inside your head so the kidney the right kidney is slightly lower than the left kidney reason being that um, I, I don't know between the kidneys there is the liver is actually between the kidneys so that's why the right kidney is slightly lower than the left kidney and then the kidneys both kidneys are surrounded by cushions of fat so the fat helps to hold them in place so the kidney weigh about 150 gram both in male and female and that's all about the kidney so the major function of the kidney is to produce and secrete urine and also to produce and secrete um renin so that's the main function of the kidney so urine are basically formed in the kidney in case you are asked or in case you just want to know i mean you should know that urine is formed in the kidney the next question i think was the processes urine actually passes through so urine actually passes through three distinct processes before it is excreted so the urine that you pass out goes through things before it is excreted so you don't just drink water and then maybe you start going to like you start micturating which is the process of passing out urine it actually goes through a process and there are three distinct process that this urine goes through so after the formation of urine in the kidney the urine actually goes to the nephron the nephron the nephron the nephron is actually a very very broad topic on its own but in a nutshell the nephron is the functional unit of the kidney so in the nephron the urine passes through simple filtration selective reabsorption and tubular se tubular secretion so the urine actually goes through filtration it will filter all excessive content like it will filter content that are too much to be disposed for example water glucose protein everything it goes through filtration and then selective reabsorption meaning that most of the like the urine you pass out it is not all the material that actually goes out some are reabsorbed back to the body for use some water like some good water are reabsorbed back to the body some protein are reabsorbed back to the body for use then after that it now goes through tubular secretion so the three major things the urine actually out uh, the three major processes the urine passes through before it is excreted is what simple filtration selective reabsorption and then tubular tubular what tubular tubular secretion that is correct so the next so after it goes through this process in the nephron remember the kidney we have two kidneys and the nephron is inside the kidney is inside each kidney and the nephron we have about one to two million nephron inside a kidney so when the i don't know i don't i'm just trying to let you guys understand this when the urine is formed in the kidney it goes through the process this process that i've just mentioned in the nephron which is inside this kidney after that it, it comes to the ureter so we have the kidney and then we have the ureters the ureter is just immediately after the kidney let me show you guys what i'm actually talking about from those drawing i made see the drawing this is the drawing so this is actually the kidney so this is the ureter it passes through the ureter the ureter is about 25 to 30 centimeter long and it has a diameter of three millimeter so it is the ureter is also called the hands of the kidney so the urine actually the urine that are formed in the kidney actually passes through the ureter and goes to the urinary bladder now the urinary bladder is a very very massive topic on its own because one billion questions i mean tutors can actually set one billion questions from that urinary bladder alone so the urinary bladder is actually the temporal storage of urine it is where urine is kept temporarily before they are deposited to the exterior now the urinary bladder is <coughs> the urinary bladder is a roughly pear-shaped organ that becomes more 
pear like it's it becomes more pear and oval when it is filled or when it is filled with urine so the urinary bladder can actually hold a total of 600 milliliters of urine and then when you have when urine is in your urinary bladder you start having the urge to actually go and urinate when it is about 300 to 400 milliliters of urine so i hope that's I hope that small grammar is making sense. Your urinary bladder can actually hold a total of 600 milliliters of urine, but you start having the urge to actually want to micturate, which is the process of passing out urine, when you are when you are having 300 to 400 milliliters of urine in your urinary bladder. In a nutshell, urine formed in the urinary urine formed in the kidney passes through the ureter and goes to the urinary bladder and then goes to the exterior through the urethra so the urethra too is another huge topic the urethra in men is 600 is what am i saying the urethra in men the urethra in men is six centimeter six centimeter long the urethra is four centimeter long in women and and how many cents how many diameter okay it's four centimeter long and it has a diameter of six milliliters while in male it is six centimeter long so that is actually it so in 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 summary urine passes from the urine is formed in the kidney passes through the ureters <coughs> deposited in the urinary bladder and passes through the urethra and goes to the toilet so that's actually the end of this video guys if you found this video interesting and educative please smash on that like button subscribe to my channel and share this video and if you so if you actually have any topic you want me to talk about please feel free to drop that on my comment section and i'm going to see you guys in my next video be sure to stay beautiful and see you compliment on the season and bye yes i have a topic i want to discuss